This is a short video presentation to give you a brief outline of the work that Mullaney District Green Hills Fund has been doing on the Mullaney Community Precinct over the past few years. In October 2010, Barung Landcare organised a community tree planting event in two separate areas which planted a large number of young rainforest trees and pioneer trees. These trees are currently doing quite well and they filled in two little pockets of empty ground that needed to be done to complete the riparian area in the southeast corner of the Mullaney Community Precinct. In the months following this, the Bush Care Group, which is organised by Green Hills in conjunction with Barung and Sunshine Coast Council, did some infill work in an area that had been planted out 10 years ago. We pulled out lots of weeds, did some mulching, did a bit of infill planting, and basically progressed work down towards the southeast corner of the precinct. We had one final working bee there to put in a whole bunch of new trees just on the edge of the work that was done in October 2010. The following month, the Bush Care Group did some pruning of pioneer trees, which even though only a year old, were already up to 15 feet high. These were topped and trimmed so they didn't put too much shade onto the rainforest trees. In January 2012, Green Hills employed a contractor to clear a lot of weed trees along the bank of Obi Obi Creek, including pines, camphor laurels and privet, etc., in preparation for another community tree plant later on in 2012. In June, the Bush Care Group moved its base of operations to the northeast corner of the precinct in the area near Reynolds Crossing and the Bales, and over a few months in an area that had been cleared by Barung Land Care, the Bush Care Group undertook quite a bit of uh, tree planting activity and put in over a thousand trees over the space of a few months. Uh, the Bush Care Group in September 2012 moved down to the area adjacent to Obi Obi Creek we refer to as the Jewel Jordan Grove and we did a fair bit of infill planting of 300 more trees and shrubs in this area. In October 2012 we moved back to do some work in the northeast corner. So in all in that area, well over a thousand trees have been planted. In November 2012, a community tree planting event was held, which was spread over two areas, one to the south of the southern wetlands area, and the other further to the west, closer to town, and across from the primary school oval, which was a, another community tree planting area. In all, over 2,000 trees were planted in these two areas. Uh, this year, in 2013, we've had a couple of wildlife poles erected. This is adjacent to the area that Unity Water is currently restoring to be a wetland. And just recently, we've undertaken, uh, through a contractor, to have a whole bunch of exotic pine trees cleared. These are directly across the creek from the primary school playing fields and once all these trees are removed we intend uh, revegetating with another big tree plant later on in 2013. This large area we're calling the biodiversity fund uh, tree planting areas will be progressed over several years and this area will provide a riparian cover right the way from the town of Mullaney through to join up with other pockets of previously planted riparian cover. When all this work is completed in a few years' time, the work that Green Hills has undertaken will provide a continuous riparian cover along Obi Obi Creek from the town of Mullaney right through to Gardner's Falls. Um, a lot of hard work has been done by members and directors of Green Hills and we hope this brief overview gives you a good idea of the work that we've been undertaking in the past few years. 
in conjunction with Burrung Land Care, Sunshine Coast Council and Lake Burrung Catchment Care Group using funds provided by the federal government under uh, several different uh, funding arrangements. Thank you for your interest.